Hey guys, it's me, Karina. Hope you guys are all having a great day. Uh, for any of my new subscribers, welcome. And for my old subscribers, what up? <laughs> I don't know. I've been thinking about filming this video for a long time and I'm finally getting around to doing it today. As you can see probably in the title of this video, it is part of my Healthy Mind, Healthy Life series that I am very much into. I have like tons of ideas to film for this. Um, yeah, anyway, it's a very important topic for me, this, this series, like all the videos that I'm filming for this series. Um, I think that having a healthy mind is, like I said, it's like the key to a healthy life and to a happy life. So, um, I've had a lot of questions from you all about um, taking time off uni because a lot of you know I've done that, um, about what I want to do in life, how to figure out what you want to do in life. I know a lot of my followers are around like my age, like late teens, early 20s, and I know this can be a very confusing time, I know, um, because I've experienced that. Um, so I just thought I would film this for you guys and kind of hopefully answer all your questions that you have. So I'm going to kind of go about it in steps because there were a lot of steps to me taking a year off and a lot of things I learned along the way. So hopefully like along the way I will answer all the questions you guys have. So I think I'm just going to start it. I don't know if that was a good intro, but I'm starting this. <laughs> so this all started about like three years ago when I was in college. So we have like two years of what we call CJAP here in Quebec and it's two years after high school and before university. And in my last semester, I was fed up. I was literally just like, oh my god, I had this realization that all I've done with my life is study. <laughs> Not that that's a bad thing, but personally, me, I was just, I was feeling overwhelmed. I was feeling a bit fed up. I've always done very well in school, and I just was like, okay, that's great and all, but like, now what? I'm, I was looking at universities, and I just felt like, god, I need a break. I just want to do something that's not studying for a little bit. Not that I want to stop studying forever, I just wanted a break. So that was that. Um, I visited a few universities. I had been in a program in CJEP in college uh, that was like preparing me to go to business school. That was fine. I was good at those classes, interested. And um, I told my parents, you know what, I really want to take a break. I think I want to take a year off in between college and university. They were like, okay, they heard me and they're saying like, you know what, let's just um, give university a shot first and see how you like it and then we'll re rediscuss, re rediscuss, regroup. Um, also, yes, um, I'm going to go ahead and say it. I'm very fortunate that um, my parents are actually paying for my tuition. Um, thank you. And um, so yeah, that, I guess that has a part, that plays a bit of a part into this because like my parents were kind of saying like, you know, we're paying for your tuition. How about you give it a try? Totally fine. Awesome. So um, I applied for, did something just fall? <laughs> I applied for university, I got in, um, went, started going to a university here in Montreal in business and um, yeah, wanted to see how it go. Spoiler alert, I really, really, really disliked it. So my first semester at university, I, I was not in a good place, I wasn't enjoying myself. Um, not that you're supposed to be like, woohoo, university, but um, I guess I didn't really particularly enjoy the program, the courses. Um, I felt like I didn't really fit in with the vibe that was in the school. Um, everyone seemed like very much concentrating, concentrated on getting like this big corporate job, and I wasn't really about that. I was in no rush whatsoever to get my degree. And, sorry, to get my degree and to start this like big career again. I was what 17, 18, and thinking about the rest of my life was just not at the top of my list of things to do. Like, anyway, I won't like blab on about that too much, but I really was just like not at that, like I wasn't there mentally in the whole uni setting. At the end of the semester, I realized how like unmotivated I felt. Another thing I want to say, I wasn't, I didn't exactly know what I was want to do, so I felt very I didn't feel very motivated in my program because everyone else seemed to like know what they want to do and they were like, yeah, and I can see how it's way more exciting to study when you kind of have like an end goal, um, but when you don't, it's kind of confusing and you're just sitting there like, okay, well, sure, I'll read like a hundred pages of this book, but then what? Like, I don't know where this is going. Anyway, 
If you guys are at all in the same situation, I guess you'll kind of understand what I'm talking about. So after one semester, I was thinking, okay, I gave him my shot, not really feeling this. I really want to take this time off. I want to take a year off. I want to do this. I want to go away. I want to travel. I have money saved up for this. I want to do this. So that sounds all nice, doesn't it? And a lot of you guys are probably like, okay, cool, take a year off. That's great, but if you've been in this situation before, and maybe you guys didn't have the same experience as me, but it's a lot more stressful than you think, like, stopping something that you've always been doing. I guess if anyone's ever, like, quit a job that they've put a lot of their life into, I guess maybe that would have, like, the same kind of feeling, or, um, I don't know, making a big decision to move kind of has this feeling. When you're that age, like, when you're 18, and all your friends are in university and your parents want you to be in university it can be a very difficult decision to stop even though like deep down inside I knew I was gonna go back I just want to figure out what I want to go back for you know um, so all this to say like I know a lot of people have asked me this and your parents supportive of you taking time off my mom was 100% and my dad too. My parents are really supportive. However, I think like my dad is a very a much more like academically oriented person and he's always like put a lot of importance on our education. So it was really the pressure was put on myself to like tell him, I guess. I don't think he was really putting that much pressure on me, like I guess maybe like subconsciously, but um I had this like extreme pressure as much as I was unhappy at school, I was also like so stressed about actually making this decision to take the time off. Once I finally like dropped my courses for the following semester and knew I was taking that time off, it was so liberating, but I had so much like, oh, I felt so much pressure on myself, like so much weight on my shoulders that I self-inflicted about just letting go of what everyone else expects from you. Oh my god, it was such a big weight off my shoulders once I was like, you know what? Like, as much as you tell yourself, you're like, it's my life, I'm gonna live the way I want to live. Like, it's nice to say, but once you actually, like, have to make that decision, it becomes really hard, and you're like, oh my god, I have no idea what I want to do, but how do I know that I'm making the right decision? Because this doesn't seem like the right decision, how do I know that is? Blah, blah, blah. Oh, anyway, I'm gonna try and, like, keep this brief, but pretty much all I want to say to you guys is, yeah, it, it, it whoever is in a similar situation, it is really nerve-wracking making the actual like decision that hey I am taking this time off because I need this and I know what I need and I'm doing this. Finally of course everyone was very supportive of me and yeah. So next up comes actually taking the year off. So I'm really lucky at my university um, it was way easier than I expected. Pretty much in order to take time off, I found out actually you can take up to like six consecutive semesters off at my uni without like having to reapply to your program. Amazing. I just went to an academic advisor. I found out um, what I had to do and really all it was is just not apply, not sign up for courses the following semester and then the semester you want to take off and then whenever you're ready to come back, you just sign up for classes like everyone else does. So that was great. Super easy. I just dropped some classes. Uh, drop classes that I had already signed up for and then I took a year off. What I would tell you guys now is before taking a year off, don't just be like, oh, I'm doing this and then sit around and you're like, oh, I didn't plan anything for my year off. And then you just get kind of bummed out because you're sitting around doing nothing and all your friends are like still busy because obviously they're still having their jobs, their school. So I would tell you that if you are going to take a year off, and you're doing this because you want to open your mind, because you want to learn things, because you want to figure out what you want to do, you're not going to figure out what you want to do by just doing the same things you do every day. Because it hasn't worked up to now, so I don't know why I would like just... It's not very common, let's say, to have just like an epiphany from one day to the other. I suggest you guys to put yourself in a different situation that you've never been in before. Um, whether it's like trying out a new job, a new like line of work, maybe you guys have been working part-time, but like something you've always thought would really interest you, you've never had the guts of trying, do it. Um, you know, put yourself out there. In my experience, what I did was I traveled. Um, I would, of course, definitely recommend that to all of you guys. Um, it's the best way to really put yourself outside your comfort zone, learn things about yourself that you never even 
newer there, learn things about the world, about other cultures, about how other people live. That's how you learn, I think. I've talked to other people who say like, oh yeah, like I've taken a year off or a friend's taken a year off and they've just kind of sat around and then they got kind of like more bummed out because they weren't figuring anything out and yeah. So I decided to get a travel, uh, to get a visa to go to Australia. Um, Canadians, I don't know how, for all different nationalities, but like for Canadians, you can just like look up what visas are pretty easy to get for other countries. You can work, you can travel, you can visit or whatever. You guys can figure that part out. But I decided I've always wanted to do this. I went for six months to Australia. I'm not going to sit around and tell you guys what I did in Australia because that's not the point of this. Um, the point of this is everyone has asked me how, like a lot of people have, has asked, have asked me, hey, I'm 17, I'm finishing high school, hey, I'm like my first year of uni, don't know what I want to do, not feeling motivated. How do you figure out what you want to do? And I am no professional at this, and if you would have asked me this a year ago, I would have been like, oh, I'm just as confused as you, I don't know. And to be honest, I don't really know exactly right now either, but I will just tell you how it came about for me, how, how my year off was beneficial. As my six months in Australia was coming to a close, I was stressing. And isn't that ironic, because you kind of do this to not stress, and then I did. I, I'm going to tell you guys the truth. I still had the, the stress of like, oh god, what am I going to do, even while I was on my year off, which kind of sucks, to be honest, but whatever. It happened. Um, so like, especially as my traveling was coming to an end, I was like, okay, this has been fun, but I still don't know what I want to do. <laughs> and I'm still lost and still confused. And I was like, I still don't want to go back to uni. I really don't want to go back to uni right now. Like, what am I doing? Anyway, all this is to say that from my experience, when I came home, I then realized, oh my god, you have learned so much that you didn't even realize. It was coming home and like after being in such a foreign place or like removing yourself from your everyday everything and then coming back to it and you're like, oh hey, I've changed a lot more than I think I have. I've learned a lot more than I realized. Um, it is so much more clear to me now what I don't like. And a little more clear to me what I do like, but really clear to me what I don't like. Um, from just meeting people, seeing other jobs even, like when you're other places, um, seeing obviously the people you're around, you, you know what they do, but then you go somewhere else and you like, oh, you meet new people and they do different things than the people you know here do, or something like that, you know? I learned a lot of things. I learned things about myself, about how, about relationships, about friendships, about everything. But just to like stay on track with this video of like what I learned about what I want to do, I learned so much about like what I, what's going to make me personally happy and like what I think, what I think is important in life. Sorry, it's real, it just got really dark. When you realize what's important to you, you realize like what's going to be okay for you to do for the rest of your life, you know? So in conclusion, I'm going to wrap this up because it's literally getting dark around me. Um, Alright, so my video when I was filming yesterday, as you probably just saw, it started getting pitch black all around me. And then when I woke up to edit um, this morning, I realized that um, the outro did not film properly. So I'm just going to finish up the video on my vlogging camera right now. Pretty much to sum this video all up, um, if you take anything away from this, it's that... Follow your gut instinct. I knew from the start that I needed the, to take this time off and um, it may be hard making the decision, making the initial decision to actually do it, but trust me, it'll be worth it. Secondly, do not worry during the time off, even though I did worry sometimes. Um, I really realized once I was back in my like natural setting, my original setting back home, that's when I realized how much I had learned about myself, how I had changed, how much I had changed as a person, how much I had grown, cra like crazy amount of growing, trust me, um, that was done during my year off. So just seriously, ride the wave, see where life takes you. If you want to take the time off, do it and just see where the road leads you. That would be my advice to you guys. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, this is just my personal experience. I'm not telling you guys what you should be doing. You will figure that out in your own time. Um, but you all asked, so this was my story. This was my experience taking a year off. 
I would really appreciate it if you guys subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed let me know if you'd like me to if you have any other video suggestions just comment them below and if you have any questions that i didn't get around to answering or if you're wanting to take a year off maybe let me know in the comments as well just all that kind of stuff below in the comments i hope you guys are all having a great day i will see you next time in my next video